I'm Tyler Suters here in the Energy News Center. This week, President Obama's announcement on oil and natural gas exploration probably won't move the markets or boost domestic production for years to come. But at least one state on the East Coast with potentially 130 million barrels of oil and more than one trillion cubic feet of natural gas is ready to go forward with this plan. Clean Sky's Dan Goldstein has a closer look at what the White House announcement could mean for the state of Virginia. Last fall, Virginia gubernatorial candidate Bob McDonnell had a simple energy plan for the nearly $4 billion worth of oil and natural gas offshore. Drill, baby, drill. When I was uh, just a candidate for governor, I talked about a vision of having Virginia be the energy capital of the East Coast. And this week, President Obama's announcement. So today we're announcing the expansion of offshore oil and gas exploration. Was just the words now Governor McDonnell wanted to hear. Virginia will be the first state uh, to be able to uh, enjoy the privilege of uh, exploring and growing off the Atlantic coast for oil and natural gas. That's because McDonald not only wants the $8 billion in investments, along with thousands of jobs oil and natural gas drilling might bring to his state, but the royalty revenues as well. The state of Virginia is counting on more than $271 million over 10 years just from revenues from natural gas drilling, let alone oil. Much of that could go back to road construction. Already, Virginia's congressional delegation plans legislation in the House and Senate to split the revenue 50-50 from offshore drilling. That's more than what Gulf Skates got in 2006 when they got a third of federal revenues to help them recover from Hurricane Katrina. Despite the cheers, there's still big questions on whether Virginia will get that much. I think that what Virginia is looking for was a more substantive endorsement, and I don't think they got it. Christy Tezak, a research analyst with R.W. Baird in Virginia, said Congress could drag out a revenue sharing agreement for years. And so far, the president, despite his announcement, has been hands off when it comes to splitting the money with the states. Tezak said that might mean Virginia may miss out on money by the time the first wells begin exploration in 2011 or 2012. One can make the argument that 2012 is, you know, pretty soon. Um, if we're sitting here in March of 2010, then, you know, even the state being prepared to execute on, you know, on helping to realize a lease sale, I think, is going to be pretty tight. Environmentalists say that Virginia's share of nearly 14 billion in mid-Atlantic tourism dollars that depend on clean beaches and water outweigh the benefits of more oil drilling, which means that McDonald's plan to drill baby drill may get put on hold till the courts decide who's right. Dan Goldstein, Clean Skies News.